a note on gravity. Sandra Bullock at the top of her form. I wonder what she's doing now because after the blind side, uh, gravity uh, and the moment of of uh, <coughs> of uh, maximum in her career, so to say. Um, I, at least for one, have not heard uh, f uh, anything about her. Uh, except maybe um, I'm, I'm thinking uh, she had that uh, husband, was it, um, who seemed to be unsophisticated, to be gentle and polite, and then I think they separated, and that's maybe good in a way for her. In a way, it's through positive psychology, speaking of this, psychology in general, the research has proved that uh, uh, those who are married tend to be better, have a better life, professional, private, than those who are uh, divorced. Uh, now there's a trend to talk in favor of those who are single, which is another story. Divorce can cover, the, uh, or be covered, in fact, I'm sorry, by category of single uh, but singles in general uh, those who don't have children even if I have one and I'm married I tend to agree that they they should not I'm, I definitely agree with the idea that they should not be singled out and I he how come he doesn't have children people have to have children Bill Maher was making uh, this point on his show real time uh, as a single man and without children and I agree uh, and he was putting in one one side uh, Jennifer Aniston doesn't have children that's fine and then this is the pillar of society a guy who has I don't know 29 children I mean with his wife and going with the joke further and saying is this uh, good I mean, to, to be in a situation where not not now honey uh, I'm I'm giving birth it's, it's, it's indeed exaggerated uh, there's a problem of overpopulation in uh, I would say in exactly the places I'm thinking Bangladesh or where they should have fewer children they still have so many and the, the, the resources are more than depleted and with water levels rising we don't know where it's, this is going so that's the uh, issue with the singles and uh, um, a new trend to, to defend them somehow they pose also those without children less of a burden on welfare systems, education, they pay taxes, but then they don't have children that would use those resources uh, and all sorts of things. And coming back to the idea of divorce, yes, in general, married people, that's all. But there will be the worst case scenario in which a group of married people are in the in a, in a most terrible of situations. Those who have a marriage on the rocks, marriage that is a relationship that is in a permanent conflict and that's the equivalent when you're on such a thing the equivalent of having a car crash every single day so um, imagine that. that that's the most uh, um, unfortunate situation and it takes a terrible toll honestly returning to gravity <laughs> after speaking about this other force of people getting apart or just crashing each other um, I don't think there's much to say about the film, really, in, in my view. Spectacular images, uh, fossil coral, uh, in, in space, indeed, uh, and uh, basically the point being George Clooney has to go quite early, uh, the partner of, of uh, Sandra Bullock in Matt Kowalski, she's Regan Stone. In in uh, in the film reminds one of Apollo 13, and uh, she has to be resilient and to show grit uh, throughout, because uh, after Kowalski is gone, George Clooney, 
she's alone and it's a it's a terrifying task to get control of this small spaceship and survive because of course odds are that she will have the same fate as her colleague and I was thinking that this is indeed a test case uh, uh, a proof even if in a science fiction film of how important grit and resilience are in fact psychology tests show that it's uh, maybe more than twice as important as uh, intelligence so uh, this woman up there in space uh, makes a strong point for that indeed without grit she would be dead in the first few minutes of, uh, of this uh, tremendous uh, challenge adversity coming